The next 24 hours are going to be pretty active as well, but there's some good news and I love it when I can come up here and pass along good news because it feels like with the weather pattern that I see ahead, there's not really a, a lot of good news in here, and that is the fact that the storms have basically fizzled out. Now, National Weather Service still going through analyzing all the storm tracks, and we know that there's going to be many more tornado reports coming in, but so far, at least one tornado, probably going to get close to half a dozen from early this morning, but at least one tornado this morning north of Pink down by Bethel Acres. Uh, that was right around five o'clock. Otherwise, the storms that we had out there basically have fizzled out, but it really has been a day for severe weather. Look at all these storms going up here, not only into Kansas, but it has been Nebraska. Now it's about to become Iowa. There have been a bunch of tornadoes, even tornado emergencies. Matter of fact, look at some of these pictures that we have coming in from eastern Nebraska just in the last hour. I mean, there have been some pretty large tornadoes. There have been many tornadoes out there and they're not done. So the risk right now is going to be either down in Texas or way up into Nebraska. OK, let me walk you through the rest of the evening here and then what we're already watching for tomorrow. Tornado watch remains in effect, although there's not really much left to this tornado watch as a dry line has moved to the east here. All this brown that you see basically means the air is too dry for any storms to develop here. So that's good. And even looking at visible satellite here, I don't see any storms bubbling up here. So headed out this evening. Weather looks great tomorrow. Not so much starting early in the morning, 10 a.m. and well into the overnight. It is an enhanced risk for severe weather for central and western Oklahoma, and our tornado index is climbing right now. It's at a six. That's a moderate chance, not only tornadoes, but the chance for strong tornadoes as well. But this is not going to be a one and done storm threat for us. We're going to see multiple rounds of storms. And so what I want you to take away from this timeline right here is not the exact placement of storms, you know, saying over Hinton at 9 a.m., but rather just watch the number and the, the waves of storms that we're going to see developing before noon here. So we'll see a couple storms already going up across central Oklahoma. These will be moving in towards eastern Oklahoma. Then we'll have a bit of a break and then we'll go to the peak heating of the day. We'll see more development occur here out across western Oklahoma. These storms will move to the east and once we hit five o'clock, the parameters for tornadoes will really begin to ramp up for tomorrow evening here. So we'll be tracking both a tornado and a major flood threat now setting up as well as we go in towards tomorrow evening with just like a line of storms just moving and it's going to feel like it's never ending for tomorrow evening and going into early Sunday morning. Now the latest timeline shows that most of the storms will be wrapping up by the time the uh, Memorial Marathon begins. We'll be watching it. So here's what you need to know for tomorrow. Between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Isolated storms with a tornado risk. Four o'clock and into the overnight, the risk for tornadoes will increase, and so will the threat for flooding rain. Flooding is likely, so flood watch has already been issued for central and going into eastern Oklahoma for tomorrow going into Sunday morning. And this is really interesting because there's some data for the metro that is suggesting we could see some much higher numbers here, like closer to six and seven inches of rain. But as of right now, uh, at least blending the data together, looking at up to about three inches of rain for OKC, but you'll see the three to six inch rain range is going to be just east of I-35, and we'll see if we got to slide this to the west. Western Oklahoma, you're going to miss out on a ton of the rain. Let's hope we can bump up these rain numbers. We'll continue to watch it closely, but otherwise Sunday we're good. And then Monday, uh, scatter thunderstorms, and then otherwise Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're rolling into the month of May. Thunderstorm chances will be increasing and you're up to date with the latest first alert forecast.